it's your boy, Rich Long. And I just came here, you already know, to keep it true. Uh, I came with a word and an update on our queen, Queen Muhammad. Um, I just spoke with her, and uh, it's about the same. Uh, her spirits are high today because um, she, she, she's been talking to God. And uh, a lot of y'all don't know this. Queen is an ordained minister, and uh, she's a seer. She she's doing the work that she needs to do while she's in there. She's 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 holding on. <laughs> she's doing what she got to do. Just know that, and uh, it's free her. We gonna get her out. We are gonna see her free. They can't hold her forever. Look, I got a scratch on my mouth. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just looking at that while I'm talking to y'all. I'm like, damn, that whole look crazy on the camera. But anyways, uh, I love y'all. And uh, the word that I've been getting all week, it was kind of just edified. And uh, I'm going to just drop it on y'all. Rest. Your rest is assured in the Most High God. Right now, it's time for us to get rest. As God's chosen children, we're about to go through this next season uh, with a sense of urgency. A lot of things are going to be activated in the spirit. A lot of things are going to be unfolded and revealed. And uh, we're going to have to keep on moving. We can't stop. So right now, before God takes us into this, uh, this period of... Um, This quickened, this quickening, this this quickened pace is gonna be a divine uh, uh, rate at which things are sped up. Things are gonna be happening overnight, miracles in real time. Uh, you're gonna be seeing the fruits of your labor. You're gonna be seeing the seeds that you planted come into fruition. We're asking that God. Give us clarity so that we know which way to go during this time. And we're also asking that uh, the chosen children get rest, rest up, because um, we're about to take flight. We're about to soar like eagles, for real, y'all. And um, I'm not just saying that. I'm, <laughs> I'm a living witness. I'm seeing so much change in my life. And uh, it isn't all good. A lot of this shit, it's painful. Growth is painful. We know um, as children, when we went through our adolescence, as we were becoming adults, it was painful to grow. As, as we made adjustments and, and uh, our life changed because we were being led to higher heights, it was a painful adjustment. But... Um, this thing that God's doing for us now, it is so good for us. It is going to be something that fulfills us. And um, it's going to give us a sense of purpose. If you haven't already, ask God to uh, bring you into your purpose. I stopped asking God for jobs and uh, mundane things a while ago. Because um, I used to ask for, uh, oh, I, I, God, I need this job. I need to be making twenty dollars an hour. I used to be asking for things like that, but um, an older woman told me just ask God to uh, meet all of your needs. You know what I mean? And uh, ever since then, the ball's been rolling. Um, I've been able to work for myself for the most part, and um, I'm not even gonna say just for the sake of jealousy because I know there's a lot of demons on here, and I don't need them throwing any crosses at me or uh, any snares that I can control. But uh, I make good money. I just, um, I'm really rich. I'm really rich. I can't complain. I don't have anything to complain about. My life isn't perfect. I'm not where I want to be, but I don't have anything to complain about. There's been times where I've slept in my car, but I don't have anything to complain about. There's been times where I didn't know 
how I would make it to the next hour. I don't have anything to complain about. There's been times where I didn't have a friend in the world, not one person to call on, not one person I could rely on and confide in. I don't have anything to complain about. A lot of people will say, well, how did you get in this situation? I pray to God that he removed me from my enemies. A lot of people will say, well, why are you like this? Why are you this type of person? Because uh, that isn't of God. The spirit of the Lord rests upon me. A lot of people will say, well, why, why have you been involved with the police? Why has this been happening? Because I'm one of God's chosen children. And until the end of the world, I'll be at war with the devil. When, when I had a family and I got deep into the word after I had been a Luciferian, <laughs> the devil, <laughs> he knew what I was coming into. He knew that the kingdom was at hand and that God's promise was, was coming and it wasn't coming back void. He knew that I had a purpose and a mission and a job within the kingdom because I'm a general. I'm a problem solver. I am a teacher, something like a preacher. I can reach people and bring people together that wouldn't have necessarily been brought together any other way. He knows that I am something special made in God's image, just like a lot of y'all who are chosen. When those snares that he laid for me didn't work and he saw that there was people with purpose coming into my life, people like Queen, people like Candace, people like MHB, because God will use your enemies for your good. Your enemies will be your footstool. Don't worry about the numbers. God knows. God knows our hearts. Look, when when. Him attacking the channel didn't work because they were putting me in virtual reality and stealing my image and cloning me. When that didn't work and the fire of God wasn't took out of me, they, they sent the police on me and sent agents in. When the agents couldn't take me out and that didn't work, while I was in jail, the devil used guards to put other inmates against me so that I would have to fight day and night. When I didn't get tired yet and didn't grow weary and that didn't work, I was released and he caused warfare in my home and tried to cause me and one of my significant others to part ways. When, when that didn't work and we didn't give up then and we kept the faith, he started planting seeds and roots of bitterness within the family. <laughs> my God, when we... <laughs> crossed that bridge and that didn't stop us. He started attacking our finances. He's been doing that. He's been doing that to Israel. There's been a lot of uh, uh, curses laid on us about the finances. When we say, well, fuck the finances because we're rich in heart and in spirit and in deed. And we'll use the spoken word to get everything that we want on this earth. Huh? And the devil saw that he hadn't defeated us then and that didn't work. He sent in other minions and other means of ways to destroy us and use the principalities of darkness to come against us. When we remain steadfast and put the armor of God on and that didn't work, he sent the, the, the enemy into our minds to, to, to put us against ourselves and make us feel that we were less valuable because of the, the uh, material things that others may have had. He had us using, uh, uh, what is it? Comparison, which is a tool of the devil. Okay. When we got our minds right and we saw that we were kings on earth and would live as kings, whether we uh, uh, would have the finest robes or whether we had to walk around in salt, uh, uh, sackcloth. When he saw that we were soldiers of God and, it, and that didn't work, my God, now he want to kill us. When, 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 when that won't work because it's not permitted, <laughs> now he wants us to kill each other. Listen, family. You got to remain steadfast. You've got to remain humble. The battlefield is in the mind. You've got to align the center. Look. God is love. My God is not a God of confusion. If, if you want clarity, he'll grant you that. If you want riches, he'll grant you that. If you want a family, he'll grant you that. If you want peace, he'll grant you that. None of these things come without a cost. What is the cost you say? The cost is the cross. There's going to be a lot of crosses thrown at you. 
Right now, I'm at the crossroads of my life. I'm, I'm 30 years old. I feel like I've done it all. I've gone all across this country. I've had some of the finest of things. I've ate at some of the finest of places. I've also been at the lowest of lows. I don't feel I'm better than nobody. I can sit and talk to a celebrity. I can talk to a wino. I'm just that real. But you know who's realer? God. God is, is awesome. God is so real. You know, I'm, I'm satisfied with what I have. I'm satisfied with just enough. I'm satisfied with standing on his word. I'm satisfied with God being the truth. I'm satisfied with just being me to keep it real. I'm satisfied with the situation I'm in, even though it's not favorable. I thank you, Father, for the warfare. I thank you for the snares. I thank you that my ex-wife was in my life. I thank you that Morshika was in my life. I thank you that these enemies who've come up against me have been in my life because it's all made me stronger. I thank you for me because if it had not been for you designing me in your image as me, I would not have gotten to this point because I don't feel that another person could have walked a mile in my shoes. Shout out to Zero. And we hope that Trader Truth get everything that's coming to him to keep it real. <laughs> Look, I love y'all and I'm going to leave y'all with this. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. Look, don't worry about how I look. I look good. Don't worry about what it is that I might have. I've got enough. Listen to the message. God, he's not mocked. The promise is still valid. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. We're going through a changing of the guard. This has been going on for the last two or three years. Israel, it's time to come up out of it. It's time for us to have a new heaven and a new earth. Yahshua is on the way. Believe that. And it's real. For real. Big facts. Listen, I'm burning up with uh, the Holy Spirit of God right now, and it's hot. So I'm going to sign off, and uh, I'll be back ASAP like Rocky. I want y'all to uh, keep your eyes open because there's going to be a lot that's going on in these next couple of weeks. There, They've come out on the news and told you that aliens are real, that they've been in contact with aliens. What do you think that's about? We're coming into alignment with the new heaven and new earth. They're going to have to tell y'all everything. The truth. It's always trying to reveal itself. Yeah. And. It's all coming together. I love y'all. I'll be back ASAP like Rocky. Free my queen. The real know what's up. Free all the real ones. Locked up worldwide and internationally. Peace, y'all. Love y'all. One.